Hello again, friends. December 17, eight days before Christmas. This is a season of new life and joy for sure, but at an even deeper level, it's a season of reconciliation. The whole purpose of Jesus putting on human flesh and coming to earth had to do with God's great desire that our broken relationship with him could be wonderfully restored. The Bible says, for God in all his fullness was pleased to live in Christ and through him, God reconciled everything to himself. He made peace with everything in heaven and on earth by means of Christ's blood on the cross. You've heard lots about the challenges to relationships that this social isolation has brought. The statistics of marriage breakdown and family violence are other heartbreaking. Here we are in the run up to Christmas 2020 and God's invitation to all of us right now is still as loving and as powerful as it has ever been. Through Jesus, there is reconciliation and peace for all of us. It's a gift to be received for ourselves and one to make available to others. This is how the Apostle Paul writes about it. And all of this is a gift from God who brought us back to himself through Christ. And God has given us this task of reconciling people to him. For God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself no longer counting people's sins against them. And he gave us this wonderful message of reconciliation. So we are Christ's ambassadors. God is making his appeal through us. We speak for Christ when we plead, come back to God. For God made Christ who never sinned to be the offering for our sin so that we could be made right with God through Christ. What a gift to share this Christmas season. Now, the first relationship in need of this is the one with God for sure. But uh, as we see, it's also an amazing gift that God gives us uh, in the ability to offer forgiveness and reconciliation to those who've hurt us and with whom uh, relationship has broken down for whatever reason. Jesus told us, so if you're presenting a sacrifice at the altar in the temple and you suddenly remember that someone has something against you, leave your sacrifice there at the altar. Go and be reconciled to that person. Then come and offer your gift to God. Perhaps one of the gifts of a slowed down Christmas season with some measure of social isolation is time for each of us to consider anyone with whom we are currently estranged. And then to ask God to give us grace and peace to do our part, to bring about reconciliation. Where there's a need for healthy boundaries, then yes, let those boundaries remain strong. But where there are things like grudges and resentments, well, that's when this Christmas would be a good time to let go of them. The Bible says when you're praying, First, forgive anyone you're holding a grudge against so that your Father in heaven will forgive your sins too. Work at living in peace with everyone and work at living a holy life for those who are not holy will not see the Lord. Well, let's give God a chance to work this grace in us today, shall we? Let's pray. Loving God, thank you for not only showing us the way to live in reconciliation with broken and sinful people, but actually opening that way through Jesus. Thank you for Christmas, where Jesus put on flesh and blood as a baby so he could offer that same flesh and blood on the cross in payment for our sins, healing for our wounds, and for reconciling us to the living, loving relationship with you, our Heavenly Father, that you always wanted to have with us, and then relationship with others around us. Oh Lord, we ask today, right now, that you would show us anyone 
with whom we need to be reconciled. Give us grace to put on humility and love and to reach out to them in an appropriate way to seek reconciliation. Oh, help us to let go of any grudges and resentments we're holding and where we've been wrong, help us to admit that. Help us to seek forgiveness and to make amends. This Christmas season in 2020, in the, the middle of a time of social isolation, God, would you do the impossible? Would you bring us all closer to yourself, closer to one another, in love and generosity of heart and reconciliation, so the message of the angels can truly come alive in us? Do not be afraid, they said. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. And suddenly a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, peace to those on whom his favor rests. So we pray, come Lord Jesus, the author of reconciliation, Come and bring peace and reconciliation to us in all our relationships today, we pray. Amen. Let's do the work now that God's empowering us by his spirit to bring peace and reconciliation. Have a great day.